Good morning and welcome to Yoga with Nafi this morning, the 6th of March. And today is our first week of five week course, core course. Um, so let's get straight into it. And uh, we're going to be stabilizing our core. So we're going to come into child's pose to begin with. As per usual, releasing all the tension or any tension in the lower back with child's pose. If this doesn't suit you, you can try a child's pose with blocks over your forehead or hugging cushions or bolsters, or alternatively, you're very welcome to come into puppy dog pose. Just arriving mentally on the mat now. Here physically, we got here, whether you're live or doing the recording. And now we're gonna bring ourselves mentally, committing to our practice and committing to one hour of mindful, moving meditation while strengthening our whole body. Bringing awareness to our breathing. Exhaling everything out of your lungs. And with your next inhale, slowly let your lungs expand outwards. And exhale. Imagine, view it in your mind's eye, the air rushing up your body and out your nose. Again, inhale, thinking about widening your ribs with the inhale. And when no more air can fit in, exhale nice and gently. That's it. One more big inhale, biggest inhale of the day. And exhale. Letting everything go. With your next inhale, meeting me in tabletop. And remembering that our hips are over our knees in tabletop, our wrists are under our shoulders. And just a reminder, don't push into pain, work in your pain-free range of motion, okay? And if, if, if it's too much, if anything's too much, stop, come into your favorite resting pose, relax. Try it again with the recording. Don't push yourself too much, but you know your own limits, okay? Let's warm up the spine before we work on the core. Stomach drops for cow, chin lifts. Only slightly to begin with, go gently to begin with. And cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. That's it, cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, nice and slowly. Challenge yourself to see how slow you can transition. Stomach dropping, chin lift. And cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Two more, cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Hips are high in the air. And cat, chin to chest, round the spine. And again, stomach drops, chin lifts. And cat, chin to chest, suck the tummy in, that's it, round the spine. Back to tabletop before lifting the right arm up, all the way up to the ceiling and spread it through the left side, bringing the right ear to the mat. Lift the right ear, arm up again and right hand back to the mat. Spread the uh, yogi fingers wide. Left arm up. And thread it through, left ear on the mat. That's it, well done. Left arm up. Really feel that lovely stretch in the shoulders. Left hand back to the mat. Walking the hands forward for puppy dog pose, bringing the forehead to the mat, breathe. Walking the hands back. And cat cow, cow, stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. 
calves, stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale, nice dip in the lower back. That's it. Calf, chin to calf, grab it. Calves, stomach drops, chin lifts, and calf, chin to chest, grab it. All right, back to tabletop. But this is a very subtle move. We're just going to warm up our side body. Just start looking around to your right. Look around and see if you can see your toes or your hips. Keep looking around. At the same time, push your hip, right hip out to the right. So we're just being a nice little stretch there in the left side body. And back to center and the other side. Look at the left hip. Looking around to the left. That's it. Keeping the spine straight. And back to tabletop. Well done. Toes together, knees apart, child's pose. Just get it, taking some time off your wrists for the moment. Forehead back to the mat. Inhale, back up to tabletop. And that's it. Standing up in tabletop. And when you're ready, set that right leg back. Right leg back. Okay, now we're starting to stabilize the core prop. This is our first exercise of the day. Core exercise. So setting that right leg back. That's it. Try and keep a straight line from the ankle to the hip. And then left arm out. If you can, if you can't, don't worry. Just keep the left hand down and think about bringing the navel, bringing the stomach into the spine, but not sucking your tummy in. That's different. It's a different part of our stomach we're going to activate. Breathe. Hold in here. And back to center. Left leg out long, holding this straight. Two hips in one line. Left hip should be in line with the right hip from the side. Toes facing down, holding here, using your glute muscle, your core muscle to hold the leg nice and straight. And if you can, right arm out long. That's it, lovely. Well done, hold. For three, two, one, back to tabletop. That's it, cat, cat, cat. Stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale. Cat, chin to chest. Round the spine, really, you should feel a lovely stretch now with that calf. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Cow, stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. Second round, stabilizing the core, right leg out, high, out long. That's it. Just imagine, just have a little peek back if it's comfy to do so. Is your leg in a straight line? When you're practicing at home, you can even turn on your camera just to see or do in front of the mirror. So you can get that leg a little higher. Left arm out long. That's it. Now turn the right toes to the right. And bring the right leg to the right. Out to the right. It's going to feel unusual. Don't push over into pain here, okay? Be careful. Left arm to the left. That should feel completely normal because it's in our normal range of motion. It's just to help stabilize the core, give us a bit more balance. Well done. Back to center. And left hand back to the mat, right knee back to the mat. Other side, left leg out long, holding here with the glute power. And the ab power, holding. That's it. Lower that left hip down if it's risen a little bit and bring the right arm out. Feeling really strong here. Now, left toes out to the left. Point them out to the left and slowly bring the left leg around to the left. Different people will be able to bring that leg further. I can only bring it a wee bit. It's okay. It's all about the balance and the core strength. Right arm out to the right. Well done. Well done. Back to the center. Relax either cat cow or um, child's pose if your wrists hurt or puppy dog. Okay, I'm going to go cat cow. Cat cow, stomach drops, chin lifts, deep inhale. 
Calves, chin to chest, round the spine. Calves, lift the chin, that's it. Calves, chin to the chest. Well done. Walk your hands out into puppy dog pose if you weren't already there. Just releasing my hands in this puppy dog. And walking back. Okay, we're going to go stage three. Right leg out long, left arm out long. Let's do this quickly, okay? So without further ado, we are going to get our elbow and knees to meet under our body. Left elbow, right knee, tap under the body. That's it. And straighten it out again. And once again, tap slow as slow as can be. Now, it, the modification of this is just bend slightly and then back again. You can still feel your core moving. You can still feel your core working, I should say. When I'm just bending ever so slightly, look at the modification now. I'm just bending my left elbow, bending my right knee and straightening. Bending and straightening. Or the full expression is tap, left, uh, I, uh, ankle, left elbow, right knee. That's it. So I list. You actually really feel that. Or tap underneath. Well done. Three more. Two. And three. Well done, other side. Left leg out long, right arm out long. Breathe, holding here. So set up first, set it up. Stabilize, stare at one spot. And left knee, right elbow. Either a little crunch that you're just bending and straightening or tap under the body. I think the crunches feel just as good, to be honest with you. Or just as difficult, I should say. <laughs> Breathe. Okay, four more. One, I mean four, three, two. Remember, if it's too much, child's pose or puppy dog. One. And release. Never come into puppy dog into your resting pose, child's pose. Breathe. Ooh, I'm hot. Take a little drink if you wish. Just try and relax those glute muscles. That was literally hardcore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> For the lame pun, but breathe now, that's it. I hold a lot of tension in my glutes only recently in the last few weeks, so I really feel that child's pose just releases that area. Well done. Coming back up to tabletop when you're ready and turning the toes over. Inhale. With your next exhale, lifting the knees up. Making sure the elbows are facing, the inner elbows are facing each other. Lifting the knees up for three, two, one, and lowering back down again. Inhale and exhale, lifting the knees up again for three, two, one, and lowering the back down. Once again, inhale and exhale, lift the knees up, feel it in the core. That's it. Well done. And this time, pushing all the way up to downward dog. Pedaling the legs out, enjoying this down dog. Making sure we're not putting too much pressure on our wrists by pressing into the pads of the hand. And also making sure that you're spreading your fingers really wide like you're starfish. That's it, well done. Breathe. Let's get off our wrist, walking forward. And coming to ragdoll pose. So walking your feet forward so they're behind your hands and then lowering your torso down. Keep it down on top of your thighs. Grab opposite elbows, let your head hang like a piece of fruit. So bring your chin all the way into your chest. 
You can sway side to side here. So putting all your weight in the right foot and then the left foot. And just notice how that feels on your glutes and your hamstrings. So let that neck go. Really important that the head just drop heavy. Inhale, coming all the way up, really slowly coming up with a big deep inhale. That's it, breathe. Meeting me in the front of the mat, so how we drink if you wish. I have to do a costume change there, it's hot. <laughs> we're really warming up. Okay, so you'll know this if you've done Bikram yoga before, we're doing half moon, okay? Now, you need to see my hands, so I'm gonna go down on my knees in a minute so you can see, but you stay standing, okay? Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, okay? Now, palms to touch, interlace your fingers, release your index finger. Can you see that? That's it. Okay, now point up, 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 like you're a pendulum. Like that's it, that's it, lovely. Pressing up, up, up. Inhale. With your next exhale, bring your body down to the right. So bring your ears, we're in between, in between two panes of glass. That's it. So stabilize your core. Don't suck your tummy in and don't puff it out. Somewhere in between. You can see that my arms are over. So that's my, my top half, you can see. Okay, now, and bring the hips to the left. Bring the hips to the left even more. That's it. Press the legs together, or imagine you're pressing them together, or even put a block in between your legs. Bring the right shoulder forward a little, and the right hip forward a little bit. That's it, you're in between two panes of glass. Chin up for three, two, push a little bit more. One, and up again, well done. Exhale. Inhale, stretching up, and exhale, other side. Keep the limbs straight, elbows straight. That's it, well done. Now you can see my shoulder is, my left shoulder needs to come forward a little bit. Left shoulder forward, right hip forward. That's it. Bring the stomach in or strong. Now make sure you're not sucking your tummy in, you're stabilizing your core. You're just holding that medium spot. If you don't feel it yet, don't worry. Okay, it takes a while to know exactly that spot to feel. Pressing your hips to the right, down further to the left for three, two, one, and back up. Well done. Shake it out. I know it was hardcore. Okay, brilliant. All right, now I'm going to, I won't stop saying that. Now. Okay, tree pose. Very good for your core as well. So you know, we do this every class, but almost every class, but it's really good for your core. I want you to think core, think core constantly. Right knee up, out to the side. Okay, sole of the right foot against the left calf or against the left thigh. Now, I actually woke up like this. <laughs> like I'm doing a tree in my sleep, which is not a bad idea, just to get you used to how it feels, you know? Left hand into prayer. If it's comfortable to do so, or hold on to a chair, prayer or chair, right hand, breathe. Now, think about your bum. Is your bum sticking outwards? It's so easy to stick your bum out, okay, if it is, Think about pushing it forward, pushing your hip forward. That will automatically start to stabilize your core. That's it, well done. Breathe, beautiful trees. Well done, hold. Think about your core. Stabilizing. And growing the tree upwards. It's only because you guys are so good that I challenged you to go a bit further today. <laughs> Well done, breathe, and back down again. Constantly thinking about the stomach, the core area, and back, let it go. Shake it out, shake out that left leg. Well done. Okay, right foot down. So grounding that right foot down into the mat. And you can actually feel, just think about it, how you're grounding it down. Now, left knee forward. 
and then next to the side. Left sole of the foot against the right calf or against the right inner thigh, whichever is comfortable. As far as core is concerned, it's a, it, it doesn't really matter. Your hips, good for your hips to go a bit higher, but whichever, it doesn't matter. Right hand into prayer, prayer or chair, or staying still, stabilizing. Left hand into prayer. Think about pushing your hips forward, making sure your bum isn't sticking out. That's it. Shoulders over hips, hips over ankle. Breathe. Growing tall. So really trying to lengthen through your spine. Imagine there's a string attached to the top of your head and someone has a, like a fishing wire and so you're just being pulled upwards. That's it, breathe. And slowly bringing your arms up, stretching for three, two, one, lowering back down. Uh, well done. Now, the first time I ever did tree, I couldn't grow my arms up. Okay, it's all progress. So, no one, don't be hard on yourself. Top of the mat, mountain pose, breathe. I want you to actually breathe, inhale, exhale, reset. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, look up at your thumbs. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, look at the right thumb. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, and look at your thumbs. That's important because it's good for the neck and the back of the spine. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, look at the thumbs. Exhale, mini back bend, core strengthening, mini back bend. Bring the arms into cactus to stabilize. That's it. Inhale, arms up over your head, look at the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold at the head high. Inhale, halfway lift, straight legs, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat, walking the feet back to our first plank of the day. Now you can have plank or the modification is plank on the knees. Okay, I'm gonna do plank on the knees to begin with. Okay, and instead of just letting my stomach just go, I'm really trying to hold it as firm as possible. Holding it firm, that's this. Hold for three, two, one. Lowering all the way down to the mat. Mini, that's this. Chest all the way down. Kiss the mat, but don't. And then mini cobra. Peeling the chest off the mat. Turn the toes over, press your chest off the mat. Oh, knees off the mat, downward dog. The modification for downward dog is puppy dog pose. Breathe. Look at your feet. Are they hip distance apart? Think about your feet now and down dog and try and get them like a number 11. That's it. No bounce to it to have a nice, even walk in the mat. If you wish, pedaling. Breathe. Press the chest towards the leg. And then walking the feet forward to behind the hand. Inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, forward fold again. Inhale, eagle arms all the way up. Spread your arms out as you come off. It was a big, strong inhale. Look at the thumbs as the palms touch above the head. And exhale, left arm back, right arm forward. Look at the left thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head, look at the thumbs, and exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, look at the right thumb. Inhale, arms up over the head, palms to toe. Exhale, mini back bend, cactus arms, press the chest up towards the ceiling, keep on pressing the chest up, that's it, lovely. The shaking in the torso and the core is good. Inhale, arms up over the head, look at the thumb. Exhale, forward fold, let the head hang. Knees bent. Oh, drink too much water. Inhale, halfway lift. <laughs> Exhale, hands on the mat. Step, jump, or hop back to plank, high plank or low plank. So you know that plank 
is the one of the most stabilizing, core stabilizing, core strengthening poses we can possibly do. That's it, breathe. Making sure the hips aren't too high in the air. So you're either in high plank or you're in plank on your knees. While I talk away to you and hope that we're all gonna stay here for just a little bit longer before lowering all the way down to the mat or halfway down, before coming into mini cobra or up dog, flipping the feet over, looking down the mat, before meeting in down dog, or puppy dog pose. That's it. Well done. Beautiful. Bringing the knees down to the mat, toes together, child's pose, get off your wrists, breathe. Coming up to tabletop, we're back to tabletop. That's it, okay. Bringing the right leg out long. And then bring it back in, tapping the right knee to the mat. Right leg out long. And tap to the mat. Right leg out long. Tap on the mat. Right leg extends, that's it. Tap on the mat, that's it, just back to normal, that's it, yeah. So straight, let me, lengthen the right leg out, keep with the right leg, that's it, and bring it back, tabletop, extend, tabletop, extend, tabletop. Well done, other side. Tabletop, extend, with exhale, inhale, tabletop, extend, tabletop. This is glutes, tabletop, extend, sorry, tabletop, extend, tabletop. Two more, extend, tabletop. Much easier than it sounds, extend. Simpler, I mean, tabletop, that's it. Puppy dog pose, stretching those glutes out or um, child's pose, breathe. Take your rest. We have to take lots of rest in between these sets, okay? Because it is, it is like a lot of work. Core is a lot of work and we're firing through the exercises. Back to tabletop. A variation of this, okay? So we're gonna lift the right leg again, but this time up. Now, not so up, do you see what I just did? I lifted my right leg so much that my elbows bent and my shoulders came down. That's not, this is not what we're looking for. To keep my shoulders, my wrists underneath my shoulders, that's it, yes. And back, tap to the mat, tap the mat. Back up, donkey kick, donkey kicker, that's it. Back to the mat. So I'm in my leg, my right leg is a 90 degree angle now, and I'm lifting it all the way up and keeping it at a 90 degree angle. Now it's a straight line from my shoulder to my knee. And then back to the mat, up again, back to the mat. You can feel it in the bum, up again, that's it. Back to the mat. Donkey kick her up again. That's it. Up to the, so keep the knee, keep the leg at a 90 degree angle. So basically we're not, we're keeping a bend in that right leg. Two more. Right leg up. Right leg up. So this is the hip. The hip is doing all the work here. And the left glute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, other side. So remember, just look at your leg now or imagine it in your mind's eye that your leg is bent. It's like, look, if we were sitting down, you can take a rest or a side if you want to see. Like if you just look at me now, if you put a chair here, it would look like I'm sitting down. Do you know what I mean? 
So there's no difference between the body shape. Like this is how I am. Whoa, like this. Okay. So try and keep that exact bend in the leg. Just raise all the movements coming from the hip. Do you understand? That's it. Yes. Okay. So tap the mat with the left knee and lifting the leg up. And tap the mat. Lift the leg up. Back to tabletop. Lift. Tabletop. Lift. The slower, the better. Tabletop. Lift. Donkey kick. That's it. Tabletop. Donkey kick lift. Think about your core. Tabletop. Lift, three more. Tabletop, lift, tabletop, lift, tabletop, lift. That's it. Child pose, puppy dog pose, whichever you prefer, breathe. Now, it's very important. You might feel like, oh, I have much more energy. I can keep going. Why are we doing this? These uh, the, the puppy dog pose or ch child's pose, resting poses right now, we are counter, it's called a counter pose. That's how we avoid injury or strain is by always doing a counter pose in yoga, like cat is a counter pose of cow. So that's why your yoga class is so balanced. You don't have to know how your yoga class is sequenced for us. A good yoga teacher will always make sure that you have balancing and counter poses for especially the more strenuous um, yoga poses. And back to tabletop. Breathe. Elbows. Just look at your elbows. Are they facing forward, your inner elbows? If so, Try and make your inner elbows face each other. That's going to change a whole lot of things in your shoulders. That's it. Depends if you have a little bit of double joint in this or not. Okay, another glute exercise. Are you ready? It's called fire hydrant. Right knee. So we're in tabletop. Tabletop. That's it. Sorry, did I say that? Back to tabletop. And this time, right knee out to the right. And back to center. Now I'm going to go forward so you can see. Okay, so this, I'm on tape. I'm at tabletop. Okay, I'm lifting the right leg out to the right, like a doggy peeing on a fire hydrant. It's actually what they call. <laughs> Lift the right knee out to the right, back down. That's it. Now don't go too far with this. You can really strain inner thigh if you've got tight inner thigh muscles, okay? So let's go easy. You know how far you can go. Lift. Back to the mat. Lift. Back to the mat. That's it. Hold the core strong. Lift. Mat. Lift. Mat. Three more. Lift. Mat, lift, mat, lift, mat. Well done. Other side. Left knee on the mat. Now lifting it up to the side, back to the mat. Lift the leg to the side, lift the left knee. That's it. Back to the mat. Lift, nice and slowly. Mat, lift. Back to the mat. Well done. You feel a warmth in your core, I bet. If you can, let me know afterwards. Lift nice and slowly. Lift. Try and use your muscles rather than your brute force power, if that makes any sense. So the slower we do it, the more we're actually using the right muscles. Lift and back to the mat. And lift and back to the mat. Well done. Child pose or puppy dog pose. Child pose will release those glutes a bit more though. Let me just check on that. Child pose is the better one here. Counter pose for this. 
So try your best. If you need to do puppy dog instead of child's pose, just try and bring your hips back a little bit more. Maybe put a block in between your heels and your hips. Breathe. Back to tabletop. Just to release the, the glutes a bit more, cat cow, cow, drop the stomach, look up, cat, look down, press the shoulder blades up. You will just notice how much looser you should feel, more flexible than when we first began cat cow today. Stomach drops, chin lifts for cow, cat. Chin to chest, round the spine. One more round, just to loosen up that a counterbalance. Stomach drops, chin lifts. Cat, chin to chest, round the spine. That's it. Take a step forward with the hands and lift the knees to into down dog. Breathe. Walking the feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. So it's getting our heads adjusted to coming up high again. Okay, forward fold. And inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch. Release, let it go. Well done. Okay, we're going to do a pose that I haven't done in a while. We're, um, I want you to, I'm just trying to think the best way to show you. Legs hip distance apart. Okay, so it's a forward fold, but a standing forward fold. Okay, now, hmm, which way will do it? Fingers. Identify your two peace sign fingers. Okay, and we're gonna, you can actually just start off like this. It's fine. <laughs> and inhale, arms up over your head, touch your four fingers, and then forward folding. Now bring your torso down on top of your, um, your thighs at the same time. Now, get those two peace sign fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Breathe, let your head hang. Once you have your fingers wrapped around your big toes, I'm gonna move to the side so you can see, but don't you move, that's it. Okay, so I have my toes wrapped around my big, uh, my fingers wrapped around my big toes, my elbows are out to the side, my head is hanging. Absolutely hanging down. And when you feel that, when you've got it, start thinking about straightening your legs. It sounds so alien. I have to do what? At the same time, no air between your torso and your thighs. We're giving our glutes a lovely stretch. Remember I was saying about the counter stretch? That's what we're doing here. We're getting a lovely stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings after working them so hard on the max with our fire hydrants and our donkey kicks, which is actually a bit of Pilates, to be honest. It's like Pilates crosses over into yoga these days a lot. Breathe. That's it, feel it. Don't push too much that you feel like you're gonna do injury, but just enjoy. The slight, uh, I call it burn, but it just shouldn't feel too bad, if you know what I mean. Breathe. And release the fingers away from the toes. Now, coming up really slowly with a massive inhale. You can actually walk your hands up your legs. You come back up. Well done. Okay, shake it out. Literally shake it. We're going to do another one. The big round version. Okay, you traditionally the legs should be together if not does not matter another way of doing this put a block in between it gives you a bit more grip okay these things are like five euro into catalog they're well worth it i used a big book for ages it's terrible in comparison okay now this time we're going to bring our palms of our hands under our heels i'm going to compose so i can show you this is going to it's going to end up like this look Ooh, I'm so white. Okay, here. I'm gonna blend into this couch unless I get a tan suit. Okay, so standing up straight, inhale. 
Exhale, start forward folding all the way down and just run your hands down the back of your legs like this. Okay, now lift your right heel and slip your right hand underneath your right heel. Now lift your left heel and slip your left hand underneath your left heel. I hope you have not had breakfast yet. Okay, <laughs> bring the chin down to the chest. Squish the legs together. Your torso is absolutely salutate, like super glue to the thighs. That's it. Your elbows should be wrapped around the back of your legs. I know, sounds so weird. It took me six months to do that alone. Now, breathe. Inhale. With your exhale, start thinking about straightening the leg. while keeping your hands under the heel. Let your head hang, feeling that lovely glute stretch. Breathe. Inhale, it's a little tiny bit of it, um, oxygen, a little sip of an inhale, and exhale, try straightening a bit more. At the same time, bring the tip of your head down to your toes, and breathe, release. Slowly come up, relax, let everything go. Well done, top of the mat. We're going straight down, inhale, arms up over your head, palms to touch, look at your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive down, bend the knees. Yeah, now your torso will feel much lighter than this. Same kind of different reaction. Okay, inhale, halfway lift, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hands on the mat, walk the feet back, high plank. That's it. Or plank on your knees. Lowering all the way down to the mat, all the way with control. Left ear to the mat, breathe. Belly Shavasana, enjoy. <laughs> Belly Shavasana, our toes are together, our heels are apart, palms are facing up, near enough our body. Left ear is to the mat this time. It's a great pose if you don't need to pee. Lifting the head off the mat just a few centimeters before bringing the chin to center. That's it. And now we're going to bring the arms forward like Superman. So it's a Superman pose, okay? Arms forward, I should go back. That's it. Now, when you're ready, I want you to lift your arms off the mat. Lift your arms off the mat, that's it. Just like 20 centimeters is good, even aim for 20. Now start leaving your feet, lift your legs, lift your legs. They don't have to be together, they can be apart. That's it. Lift your arms, lift your legs like Superman, you're flying through the sky, a superwoman. Hello. Breathe. Hold for three, two, one, and release. Well done. Belly Shavasana, right ear to the mat. That is serious core strength being stuff there. Remember, belly shavasana, toes together, heels apart. The reason for that is to release the sciatic nerve, to release the glutes. If you wish, you can even shimmy your bum side to side, to shimmy, shake it, shake your ass to the ceiling. No one's looking, that's it, release. And relax. Chin back to center. And don't worry, we're gonna do it easier possible one now this time. Bring your hands to underneath your shoulders. So your palms of your hand, your palms of your hands are on the mat, your fingernails are facing up. And if you were wearing nail brush, your shoulders would smudge the nail brush if your shoulders went all the way down to the mat. So your elbows are up like grasshopper wings. Really important reset of this upright. That's it. 
Okay, now bring your legs in together and and um, stick your toes and your heels together if possible, or bring them as close to each other as possible, or indeed your block or a cushion. Head forward, chin on the mat to start with, and then slowly with your back, lower back strength, start peeling your chest off the mat for mini cobra. But this time, I want you to see if you can lift your hands off the mat. That's it. Lift your hands off the mat just a little bit just to make sure you're using your lower back strength for three, two, one. Uh, well done. Now don't collapse down, just slowly lower your left ear to the mat. The next pose we're going to do, we're going to cool down and just relax those muscles. Okay, the next one we're going to do is called half pigeon. Now, if you know that half pigeon doesn't suit you, please slowly make your way to wind removing pose and then do your reclined pigeon or thread the needle. Okay. So I'm going to be going into the half pigeon. So slowly lifting your face off the mat, bringing your hands to under your shoulders again, this time pushing your body up off the mat onto your knees. So you're on your knees and then lift your knees coming to down dog. Now, so lifting the right leg high in three leg dog and then bringing the right knee towards the right wrist, lowering down for half pigeon. That's it. So hope you can see, yeah. Okay, that's it. Now, if this is too much for you, okay, so we start. I just set the people up in half pigeon first. You know what you're doing here in half pigeon, okay? You have your hands on the mat and then slowly you're going to release your left elbow down and your right elbow down. Now, if that doesn't suit you, then your hips come into with your moving pose, lower your knees down, right ankle on top of the left thigh, and you know. You're threading through and you're bringing it that way. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Right ankle on top of the left thigh. That's it. And grab the left thigh. Interesting figures behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin or half pigeon. You are stretching, cooling, because we're cooling down stretching now. You're doing the same muscles. Okay, no matter if you're doing half pigeon or thread the needle, recline pigeon, other side. So if you're in half pigeon, come back to down dog, lifting the left leg high this time and bring the left knee forward, lowering the right leg down, making sure that right leg is moving straight behind you. And just stay here in raised half pigeon for a moment, trying to get those hips it's in one line, three before slowly lowering left elbow down and right elbow down. And bring your head down as well, using blocks when you wish, when you need to. Otherwise, you're here in wind removing pose, your soles of your feet on the mat, lifting the left ankle on top of the right thigh, as close to the right knee as possible, before bringing the legs into the chest and threading the left hand through the holy creator with your legs, um, interlace the fingers behind the right thigh or in front of the left. No, nope. right shift. Okay, breathe. Depends whichever one gives you the most satisfying stretch. And that's what stretches should be satisfying. So yoga should be actually by the time you're finished, not, not necessarily with the middle of the class. Okay. 
If you're in half pigeon, slowly coming back to down dog. If you are in thread the needle, back to wind removing pose and have a little happy face. If you're in down dog, lowering the knees down, swinging the legs a little bit to the right so you can bring your bum down. And slowly making your way to wind removing pose and meet everyone else in happy baby. That's it. If you feel you have tight glutes, I find this um, movement really good in happy baby, this variation. You see, I'm really making very big circles with my feet. See? So instead of just kicking up and down, I'm moving out to the side. Feel that it really releases that. Hold on, just enjoy. Remember, lower back on the mat. The lovely counter pose. And bringing the legs into the chest once more. No, penultimate, second last time, third last time. For a supine twist, right hand on top of left knee, draw your legs over to the right, left arm out long, chin towards the left shoulder, little subs of air, breathe. Legs back into the center, gaze back to the center, left hand on top of the right knee, draw the legs over to the left, right arm out long, chin towards the right shoulder and breathe. Thank <laughs> you. 